All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we have the Sega CD version of Mortal Kombat. Uh, why are we playing the Sega CD version? Again, well, for one, it's a great game. It's Mortal Kombat. How can you not love it? But I uh, posted a video the other day, uh, Game Boy playthrough. I had a comment on there saying that the uh, best version of Mortal Kombat to play versus the computer is the Sega CD version. So Tony P 9313 this playthrough is for you in particular. And we are going to uh, put that statement to the test and see just how easy this version is. Now the... Uh, we're going to skip past that. Now the uh, Sega CD version basically looks like the Genesis version, if you remember. Um, the blood is already, there's no code for blood. I think it was, it was rated, uh, yeah, front of the box, MA-17. So this already had the blood in it. Uh, we're going to use the, if you see that, six-button controller. I don't think it makes a difference. This is very, uh, very playable with a three-button controller. <clears throat> so uh, he claims that easy on this version is actually easy. You can see that full motion video there. Very cool. The music sounds just like the uh, the arcade. Now the only issue with this, so the Sega CD, down, up, left, left, A, right, down, cheat enabled. Excellent. So the only issue I have with this version is the loading time. Once again, it's uh, CD based. Sega CD did take a while to load. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but we're going to play through it anyways today and see if uh, it is as easy on easy as Tony says. So, Tony, Tony P9313, once again, this is for you, my friend. Thank you for the comment on the Game Boy video. So, we're going to put lives on because that's uh, unlimited continues. Uh, moon, we'll put Moon on, okay? We might, uh, we might play against Reptile, we might not. Um, ch 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 green, green. If you turn that on, it's a reptile clue before every uh, every round. We're gonna keep it off because I uh, tried it earlier, and uh, unfortunately, it takes forever to load the uh, you know the tip before every round, and it gets to be very very tedious. So uh, we got everything set the way we want. Let's jump into the game. Oh. Yeah, blood on, you turn blood off, the screen goes yellow. You see the logo turns yellow. <laughs> Why you'd want it off, I don't know. Uh, cheat on, I believe you leave that on for the unlimited credits. And uh, yeah, let's get uh, right into the gameplay, Mortal Kombat on the Sega CD. Now this version, it's very, very good. It's uh, basically just the, so we've got very easy, easy, medium. We'll just, we'll keep it at uh, easy, okay? And we'll see how uh, easy it is. Um, yeah, the biggest the biggest problem with this one, there's there's a couple things, and I'll 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 pick at them as we as we progress. So let's talk about the good things first. Music here, perfect. Sound effects of the uh, cursor, perfect. Sub Zero has his original stance. Scorpion has his stance. Whereas on the Genesis, they both have Scorpion stance. Let's do this with uh, Raiden today. Raiden. There we go. Now the uh, the voice in this is kind of quiet. The sound effects of like the punches and kicks and stuff is kind of quiet, but it's not a not a huge deal. The game still plays relatively uh, relatively good. Uh, the biggest issue though is just just the loading. The Sega CD took forever to load, and um, you know back in the day it didn't matter. And then some of the tracks are super loud too. So. Overall, though, yeah, like Honey Marmalade, you can barely hear it. The loading between, um, you know, like the, the end of the battle, between matches, you know, once you do the Fatality, you'll see there's a lot of loading in this game. But when you're actually playing the game itself, it does play pretty much just like the Genesis. So we're playing on easy just to, uh, well, because it's always uh, fun for playing on easy. Um, but Tony claims it's easier on easy. There we go. You'll know you activated a fatality. It takes a moment to uh, it takes a moment to load in that fatality. Wins. Victory. Fatality. 
Now the cycling of the music too for stages, it's it's all uh, it's all wrong. Um, for the most part, like the uh, the music in the stages is is different from the arcade. The rotation is uh, is different, but uh, to me it's it's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, overall, overall, this is a really good version of Mortal Kombat 1 for sure. Is it the best version of Mortal Kombat 1? Uh, I don't think so. I think the plug and play is more fun. <laughs> I think the plug and play is more fun because there's no uh, there's no loading. That's a big uh, that's a big deal breaker on the Sega CD version. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, if you love Mortal Kombat, if you love the original, this is a very fun version to play. Honey marmalade all day. There we go. Forward, back, 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 by punch. It's cool, the lightning courses through him and then out his hand. If you notice in the uh, fatality animation there, it comes up from the ground and through his hands. Fatality. And takes off Sonya's head, so really cool. And I love listening to this in the CD player. It had uh, Hypnotic House, I believe. A couple of music tracks that had the original uh, Immortals, Mortal Kombat on it, I believe. Uh, there were a lot, I did that with a lot of Sega CD games. I started uh, popping them in the CD player just to see what the uh, the music tracks were like. Uh, one game in particular. Yeah, I believe this is the wrong music. But one track in or one game in particular that I loved for the uh, Sega CD. If you've ever heard of it, it's called Robo Aleste. Or Robo Aleste. If you ever get a chance to play that, it's super friggin' hard. It was super hard back in the day, it's probably even harder now. But uh, the music in that game was epic. It reminded me of like 80s or 90s dance music. And the, uh, yeah, the music track in that was so cool. Put him on my lead! There we go. So the exploits, the arcade exploits, I don't think I don't think they work in this, or I don't Because basically the arcade exploits to uh, cheese the, the computer is just a lot of jump kicks. Maybe that does work in this. A lot of jump kicks. Roundhouse kicks connect a lot also. Uh, depending on your uh, your range. Fatality. Fatality. Oh. Oh, 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 start button. Ah! Well, that sucked. I was pushing block. I forgot you had to push start. And when I. So that was an epic fail. But I know better for next time. Getting that power level up is actually pretty easy in this version. Uh, you bash the buttons, but uh, yeah, having to push start there kind of threw me off. There you go, you have the uh, silhouette. Oh, I already lost. So, the silhouettes across the moon. So, you have the uh, opportunity to fight Reptile. The thing is, you know what? I'm going to let him win this. You have to get a double flawless. Um, you can lose a round, though. As long as you get double flawless uh, on two rounds, then you can see Reptile. No block. I don't think I'm going to do it right now, to be honest. Maybe I will. But uh, I can't block. Did I block already? Yeah, I just missed it right there. So unfortunately, we're not going to get Reptile in this playthrough. The music tracks in this are super loud. But we will knock him off the pit regardless. And the volume of the, uh, the music and the sound effects is uh, it's all off. <laughs> But I like how the uh, dollar code, so I can't remember if this one has the uh, ABACABB code or if it's just the dollar code. But dollar is just down, up, left, left, A, right, down. Let's knock him off the bitch. The Sega CD version has uh, blood on the tips of the spikes. That's awesome. But yeah, back in the day, I, I really enjoyed this, obviously. Back in the day, I mean, every game was great. 
uh, you didn't have, you know, uh, downloadable content and all this stuff and add-ons and whatnot. Like, what you paid for is what you got. So games were always packed to the brim with uh, content. This is the full arcade game with, you know, with the extras. Backgrounds look good. You got uh, Shang Tsung moving his head in the back, you know, following the fight. It's Honey Marmalade does seem a little faster. I don't know if there's more animation than the Genesis. There could be. But is this better than the Genesis version? Well, it depends on your preference because a lot of people don't like the, uh, the music. Uh, a lot of people don't like the loading. Um, you know, it's all a matter of preference. I think this version looks great though. The blood looks good. Uh, one problem, and you'll see it if, as long as, well, as long as, as long as I get the Shang Tsung. But the Shang Tsung battle is a bit of a mess. There we go. And it's a mess because he does uh, morph into other characters in this one. And it has to load between every morph. As far as I'm concerned, that, uh, that is probably the biggest problem. If you make it to Shang Fun. Which, uh, you know, I hope you do. I mean, because you can play it on very easy, right? It plays very easy. So. But yeah, the loading's not too bad between matches. It's definitely uh, tolerable. Unfortunately, yeah, the music on this stage is different. I love the, uh, the Genesis music. It's much better. But they've already uh, cycled this track three times, I believe. While it sounds good, it's not the right music. <laughs> I think the uh, Genesis music for this stage sounds a lot better. It's actually one of my favorite tracks out of any Mortal Kombat game. It is really well done. I should probably showcase the uh, Sega Genesis version after this, just, to, just to, so you can listen to the music of this stage. Oh. Ooh, Johnny Cage wins, all right. So yeah, you know what, stick after, or stick stick around after the credits, or fast, <laughs> fast forward down there. That's how you know I'm from the 80s. Fast forward, like a VHS tape. And uh, yeah, and I will play the uh, play this round or the match on this stage just so you can hear how awesome the music is. Because it is different. But I will do that after after this playthrough. The girl stage looks cool. The, the backgrounds look cool. They still spell Raiden with a Y, but that was just a thing back in the uh, that was due to copyright. And the uh, the game, the flying game, right? In the... All right, here we go. I'll do it better this time. Look at that. That was diamond. I crushed it. Excellent. My might has been tested. Now the endurance matches are always a pain in the neck for me. Uh, Mortal Kombat One is not my. I'm not that good at this version or at this game in general. I'm getting better. <laughs> But this one's always very hard for me. There we go. A lot of honey marmalade going on. Marmalade! So it seems the uh, jump kick trick seems to work pretty good. And, this, and then, yeah, you got the monks moving in the back, too. I'm not sure if they move in the Genesis version. Anyway, so far, so good. Definitely uh, lenient, lenient AI. Not overly hard. And once again, when I'm, when I'm playing these and I'm talking at the same time, sometimes I lose my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I forget what I'm doing on screen, and I don't play quite as well as I do when I uh, when I'm not recording. But that's okay, not a big deal. Fatality. Fatality. 
Shang Tsung is the announcer in this version, or in this game story, Mortal Kombat 1, whereas Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, it's Shao Kahn, voiced by Steve Ritchie, greatest uh, voice in video game history. Right up there with the uh, Boom Shakalaka guy. And actually, they made um, made NBA Jam for this, too. This thing CD and Blue. I think it was Tournament Edition. I don't remember ever playing that one, though. I do remember playing uh, Scotty Pippen basketball on this. And I remember I actually liked it. So it loads in the uh, second character again. Another pain in the neck. And unlike the... Uh, Unlike the arcade, you don't get a free shot on the opponent as soon as they jump in. At least I don't think you do. Alright, there's our first boss. I might have to switch over to, uh, to like Sub-Zero or Scorpion or something to beat this game. I mean, hopefully I beat it. It is set at easy. I think Shang Fun is easiest to beat with Raiden in this version. I think you can spam Honey Marmalade. You actually might be able to spam Honey Marmalade with uh, every character in this. Gotta love that loading time. Ooh, get me that. All right, won that round. Thank goodness. Quicker I get through these, through these endurance matches, the happier I'll be, because I never have fun on these uh, endurance matches. I always find they're too hard. And there's nothing like getting to round three and then losing, having to do it all over again. There we go. Hit jump kick seems to be the longest too, I think. Um, best range, I feel. I think Johnny's going to appear on the right side. Go. Oh, okay. Alright, going to spam some jump kicks here. That seems to work. I'm only going to do that because, like I said, endurance, ra endurance matches suck. But at least that exploit seems to work. It's hard sometimes to get on the arcade. you got to time it right. Raiden wins. Fatality. Shmetalami. All right, here we go. Excellent. Turns two. Yeah, graphics look good though. I think the uh, Sega CD had the same amount of colors as the uh, the Sega Genesis. I think it's only producing uh, 64 colors on screen at once. I think that's what it is. Again, I don't come with facts, with the hard facts. I just come with uh, what I know personally or what I think. <laughs> I know that probably bothers some people because, uh, you know, people who are diehard fans and know the specs and such, maybe it bothers them that I don't, but, you know, it is what it is. Honey Marmalade. Love this uh, stage also. The Warrior Shrine. Goro, I find, looks a little more cartoony in that statue there, though. Take it, take a look at his uh, face. He looks like he's got like a chubby smile going on. His face looks a little chubbier. He has his uh, buxom chest uh, puffed out. <laughs> Goro. Goro doesn't look overly menacing there, to be honest. Oh, but the, uh, the shadows look good in this. The shadows are uh, legit. They're not just uh, circles for shadows. They actually got the character shadows, so there's another positive. And if I can beat this, like beat in one life, that'd be a positive too. There we go. Excellent. Ooh, even that far, I still pulled it off. Excellent. Now the blood does squirt a little further in the arcade version. Wins. But I 
think only a true, true uh, fans, diehard fans of the game would know that. And I'm not even positive, but I think. I think. I think the tester might is probably the easiest on this version. It's definitely easier than the arcade. I made a short, uh, tester might short, a few months ago. It actually did really well. It was pretty cool that it, uh, it got such a good reception. But I had friggin' arthritis after uh, after recording that. It took me so many tries with uh, Liu Kang to break that diamond. Um, yeah, it was insane. So shorts only give you 60 seconds. Um, so I only showed uh, me fail doing that, uh, I think four times, with, or three or four times with Liu Kang, because I was gonna run out of time. But uh, the truth is, it took me like seven or eight tries to break that diamond. And I swear, my hands were so cramped after. <laughs> All right, so we are in Goro's stage. If I can beat Sub-Zero here, then Goro should fall down. Oh crap, I blocked that. I took off the energy, dang. Dang it. But yeah, Goro will fall down in the top of the screen, the top of the pit, or whatever the stage is called, Goro's lair, the top of this lair. And, uh, yeah, it'll be the Goro fight. Now, Goro, I didn't find to be overly hard. Um, it wasn't overly easy, too, though, so. Can I do it? There we go, I did get the first hit in, that's cool. Crap. I think. So far, so good. Pretty solid playthrough. I am happy with it. Fight. Any marmalade? Oh crap, threw me. There we go. It was under the under the fireball. Or under his little uh, fire pellet, whatever you want to call that. Oh, nice. Got half health here. Can we beat Sub Zero? Oops. So. Excellent. Nice. All right, I think we got it. Perfect. Goro time. Now, Goro should fall in Sub-Zero's place, but will he? And if he does, is he going to pick me up and smack me around right off the hop, which he tends to do. Fatality. So, yeah, loading, loading. There we go. Ah, he did it. Perfect. So an easy strategy, yeah, uh, uh, the, the animation's a little, um, a little wonky the way he walks around, but overall, it's not bad. And there you go, we beat him. Uh, I just I was going to say something again. Man, my memory is, uh, my memory is slipping. <laughs> oh, the joys of uh, being mid-40s. Alright, let's do this. Jumped right over me, that was cool. This fireball seems a little faster. Now, I don't know if you do more damage on him in, in this one than you do in the arcade, because it didn't seem like I hit him hit him a lot. But uh, that did a lot of damage. So here we go, the Shang, Shang Tsung battle. Like I said, you're, you're about to see something, something terrible. <laughs> Oh, 
the uh, music track messed up. Well, that's interesting. Nice little glitch. <laughs> the music track totally didn't load up uh, properly there. That's cool. Every time he morphs, it loads. And it takes a long time. Do -do 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 All right. So the music track messed up for that one. Let's see if it loads in properly here. Sure doesn't. So we have a funky messed up <laughs> messed up music track here loading into a Raiden there you go this is interesting this is a first time I think that I've ever seen this oh and there you have it the loading oh my goodness the loading into other characters is a big issue on this one Right, we got funky, uh, funky sound effects here. All right, I think I can honey marmalade him to death. There we go. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, come on, Goro. Oh. Nope. Now that fireball is so powerful. There we go. Defeated Shang Tsung. Unfortunately, like the arcade, it doesn't uh, pop all the characters out of them because it would take a million years to load all that. But we got the ending, so there you go. Raiden's victory comes as no surprise to him. He was never impressed by Shang Fun's inferior source. Okay, then. Uh, it's very quick. <laughs> he quickly becomes bored of his mortal competition and soon invites other gods to participate in the contest. The ensuing battle rages on for years. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't read it quick enough. There you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The Sega CD version of Mortal Kombat. Stick around after the credits. I'm going to show the, uh, the Genesis version, the greatest music for any Mortal Kombat game. One of, one of my favorite tracks for, for any Mortal Kombat. We will, uh, yeah, we will watch that right after we watch the ending here. So, that being said, thank you very much for checking out the video today. I do appreciate it. Once again, big shout out, Tony P9313. Well, I beat it in one credit, so uh, your comment on the best version of Mortal Kombat to play versus the computer is the Sega CD. It's basically the Genesis version that is more polished, with more sounds, music, and graphics to them. When you play this on very easy, it is super easy. Unlike the SNES version or the arcade versions, which are super hard, even if you put it on very easy. The only thing that is bad is when Shang Tsung morphs. Exactly. There is loading time when he does that. Other than that, he's really easy to beat. If you don't like that version, then the Sega Genesis version also very good thank you for that comment my friend this playthrough was for you let's check out the great music and then it just uh, loops over again or stops completely all right All right, here we go. We'll use the dullard code to uh, get right to the uh, right to the stage we want. Goro's lair. Uh, we're not gonna put it in here. Uh, a B A C A B B. Yeah, why not? <laughs> now entering combat. You gotta love it. This music sounds funky, and I love it. Down, up, left, left, A, right, down, down. Up, left, left, A, right, down, down, up, left, left, A, right, down, down, up, left, left, A, right, down. Uh, I think because I messed it up once. Maybe it won't let me do it. Let me go back. Uh, I messed it up once, so you know what? Try that again. Yeah. Oh, 
Get us to keep messing it up. There we go. Jeez. That's the uh, longest it's ever taken me to put the dollar code in. All right. So map is going to be Goro's Lair. All right. Here we go. Listen to this music. So here's the difference, too. Bling, bling, bling. So Scorpion, Sub-Zero, both the same stance. Not to piss off. Check out. Oh, there you go. That's cool too. Fun. Excellent. But here's the music. Excellent. Yeah, you can't even hear the excellent on uh, Sega CD. And the uh, ending music too is it's awesome. Do 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 do. You gotta love it. But yeah, this music just sounds absolutely awesome. I gotta be honest, I think this one actually plays better. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.